Hi, this is Shadi and today we're going back to 1955 Valley Tudo, a fight between Carson Gracie and Valdemar Santana. So, in my opinion, this fight has a lot to offer judo-wise. You can see even by today's standards, a lot of the techniques that I'm about to show are very top tier, high level. Um, this is something that was brought to my attention by Pedro Valente, so I figured I would share uh, with you. So here, there's still distance between the two fighters, and when there's distance, there's striking, and Valtemar closes the distance. Uh, as you can see here, Carlson tries to grab the head and also keep a knee shield in a sense and entangles the leg. You can see here it is entangled by the ankle, which makes it very hard uh, for Valdemar to pass. It's one of the it's one of those simple things you do in judo and jujitsu, yet they are very uh, efficient. So here he closes, he has an overhook, tries to get an overhook, hits him with a beautiful left uchimata, stands up another uchimata, and then a third one followed immediately. So when we talk about Chris Benoit's triple suplex, this is much more valuable. So here you can see, notice that first he hits with a left uh, Uchimata and then hits with a right Uchimata uh, and then once again hits with a right Uchimata. So um, Uchimata even by like the best Uchimata artists uh, very rarely you would see someone hitting it both sides. So here this is the basic form of Uchimata where you actually pull someone towards you and as they are coming you reap the inner thigh and you are pulling on the hand and push pulling also the upper body either with an overhook or here with the lapel um, but of course valley tudo there's no gi so he had to pull with an overhook so even the best uchimata artists like inoue kose um, only hit it i believe so with the right side only he was right-handed and he gave us some of the best uchimatas in history and only i believe was hit in the right side Joshiro Maruyama, a uh, contemporary competitor, same thing, only hits it with the left, never seen him hit it with the right. I'm sure they can, but competitively speaking, on the highest level, it's very rare to see someone hit it on both uh, sides. Shohei Ono, right-hander, same thing, uh, very rarely or probably never seen him on the I IJF World Stage hit on the both sides. The only one I can think of that actually hit on both sides brilliantly is the legendary and late Hitoshi Saito. He was left-handed. Here you can see stabs with Uchimata left side. Uh, also here this one he was against a very heavy left-hander. So what he does is he spins out and hits a right side Uchimata finishes it as Uchimata Makikomi. The legendary Hitoshi Saito uh, from the 80s um, gave us one of the best rivalries with Yasuhiro Yamashita two-time Olympic champion and here you can see why he was one of the best. Carson Gracie did it twice in a row, um, different sides in 1955. So this is why this Uchimata in my opinion is very much uh, valuable. So here Valdemar Santana kicks and then goes in with Moro Tegari, just uh, reaps away both legs, pulls them, he doesn't even pick him up, he's just pulls away at the legs and keeps driving forward which in my opinion is the best definition of a morote gari morote is both hands gari is reap so i want you to think of a tree you either cut it down as you are seeing here or you take it out by its roots which becomes another throw we will see it later so this is morote gari um keep in mind valdemar santana was also a judo student or jujitsu student so here he reaps away and then drives forward. He doesn't pick him up, he just pulls away at the thighs and then the opponent falls off. Let's see it one more time. Drives forward and pulls at the thighs from behind and gets the takedown. So here the fight continues. Um, Carlson laces the leg, tries to go for Udegarami. Notice Valdemar how he is defending by grabbing his trunks. You can do that with the gi by gripping your belt. A lot of people do that with Omoplata and also the Ude Garami. So Ude Garami from guard, half or closed. It's a classical uh, form. You can see Mifune, you can see uh, Masahiko Kimura do it. 
it's a very old one you can also do it from the other direction as you can see here stretch out the arm and then does it almost like an inverted americana in a sense in bjj terminology here carlson is playing guard taking a rest even though he has good takedowns and then as valdemar attacks he stands back up they clinch on the ropes and the fight uh, continues so uh valdemar santana was incredibly muscular and i would say much stronger than the gracie fighters but uh gracie fighters were in my opinion more technical so here you can see valdemar uh, tries to push against the hand that's pushing against his thigh so carlson is pushing against the thigh so to prevent him from going closer to him but valdemar pulls him in and then I would say this is more of a skuinage because he clearly picks him up and then slams him down. The Kodokan explains that this is not Morotegari since Kate Howie actually picks up the opponent, not so much pulls away. This is a clear pickup. Again, this is like the tree, you pull by the roots or you cut it down. And this is clearly a pickup and then there's a dump or a slam. So a skuinage is different than Morotegari. Here you can see picks up and then dumps or you can slam down so this is from a basic form the self-defense form of skuinage kate howie the way she did it as you can see there's a clear pickup and then slams down different from you know driving forward and then pulling the legs towards you um i understand the nomenclature and the terminology in judo in very is very complex but i made a video on judo's double legs i'll link it at the end as well as valdemar santana's video so here after he was uh, slammed he continues playing guard an efficient one at that they continue to clinch they continue to fight for good position both are grapplers and strikers keep in mind uh valdemar santana jujitsuka and capoeirista and this fight here from 1955 ended in a draw later on they would fight several times uh carlson would win and then they would draw again so uh, here you can see they are still clinching, still trying to get the takedown, still trying to get the dominant uh, position uh, and then uh, the fight uh, would end but clinching against the ropes, the referee is trying to pull them back in and then to not cling to the ropes, um, Carlson is fighting for that overhook, he gets taken down and then tries to fight from guard, uh, butterfly guard in particular, Santana is trying to catch up but the time ends and um, it was declared a draw this is the 1955 fight later on in 60, uh, 56 57 i believe carlson won one by tko and one by decision and later on they would draw again uh, it was a very good rivalry and um, i'll link the uh, santana video at the end and of course the double leg video at the end so if you have anything else to add please let me know down below also consider supporting me on patreon i have exclusive content for the patrons only i post there once a week uh stuff like behind the scenes full podcasts uh videos only for the patrons but don't worry my main content will always be here on youtube so please don't feel obliged but your support would mean a lot so if you have anything else to add comment down below this was shady and thank you for listening